Welcome to the Magnetic Marketing and Mindset Show. It's Tracy Pontarelli. Welcome back. Or if you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. I'm so thrilled you're here. We're here to talk about useful, practical marketing and mindset tips for online entrepreneurs, social sellers. And today we're talking about brand pillars. So I will sound like a bit of a broken record, but if you haven't gone back and listened to the last three episodes, I would encourage you to do so. They're short and sweet and they're filled with information and useful tips. I've brought you through a lot of my framework for helping my own clients and team build stronger personal brands. So go ahead and listen to those. There's worksheets, lots of goodies for you in there. Okay. So today we're going to talk about brand pillars and here is, here's what this is going to do for you guys. Okay. Imagine that this is your sandbox that you get to play in. Okay. So you're going to put all your toys in your sandbox and they have to stay in the sand. You have to stay in the sandbox (laughs) and they have to be relevant to the other person that's playing in the sandbox with you. All right. So you got, you got your target dream avatar in the sandbox with you. And you're engaging with play with this, with the, with the avatar and it's got to relate to that person. Okay. So we've talked about this a lot. Go back and listen. We have done the work and created a narrow down a number of topics that relate to both you and your personal passions and strengths and your target audience, very narrowly defined and their passions and interests and desires. So you're, you're pairing up those two. I'm, I'm, if you're listening, you just have to imagine create two circles with each hand. So go kind of make little, you know, circles, like if you were covering your eyes and then just overlap them. And the spot in the middle is the overlap, the intersection. That's where the personal brand magic happens. Okay. So within here, how do we create a brand pillar? So I'm actually While I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to pop up my own. And I also just want to encourage you guys to start imperfectly on this. That will be a whole different podcast episode, starting imperfectly. Start imperfectly. Too many times people wait around to get everything perfect before they get started. And my friend, All you're wasting is your time and your opportunity to learn. So get out there and just do this. You can change your bio. You can delete things that don't work. Like it's fine. So just go ahead and get started. And, um, and I will tell you my own brand online has changed and evolved over the years. So I'll give you an example. And, And it was very narrowly, I mean, very broadly defined when I first got on social media, because I wasn't doing social selling. And then I was doing social selling and I was trying to figure out, and I had no really good coaching. And then I learned and I took courses and I got better. And now I'm teaching you guys, right? When I first started, so I, by way of background, I'll just tell you, I am a wellness coach and a personal trainer and, um, I'm a runner. Uh, I've done a lot of running in the past. So it was periods of my professional career where I was, for example, the run coach for Lululemon on the Upper East Side, right? I ran a couple marathons during that. My kids were little during that phase of my life. There was different things that I highlighted on my social media feed, right? Now I am really focused on trying to help you, the social seller, network marketer, real estate agent, you know, online entrepreneur, get better at your personal branding because this is really where and how I want to serve at this point in my life. So this can evolve for you and it's okay to evolve and pivot and refine. It's okay. So I want you to go ahead and just get started on this and you can go back and edit and tweak and hone it in. Assume that this stuff is never done because you are getting better. And so you can change this anytime you want. Okay. I want you to let go of that story that you have to be perfect. If that was all you got from today's podcast, I'd be happy, (laughs) but let's move on. Okay. So, um, so let's talk, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to read you my, um, I'm going to read you my brand pillar description, and then I'm going to give you my pillars 
and then I'm going to talk you through yours. Okay. So mine is, I am a multiple six figure online wellness entrepreneur, mama teaching stressed out network marketers and solopreneurs, how to rock magnetic personal brand marketing and build attraction marketing mindsets. Okay. So let me just tell you all that's in there, right? So this took, took, took a couple of drafts, right? So I tell you, I'm a multiple six figure online wellness entrepreneur for a couple of reasons. I want you to know that I know what I'm doing, right? So I want you to know that I am speaking from experience where I was, where you were, right? I was a mom and a personal trainer that joined social selling and had to figure this out. And I've built over time, a really successful business and I want to help you do it too. So that's me telling you my experience so that, you know, you can trust me, right? I'm also a mama. I want you to know I'm a mama. So entrepreneur, mama, right? Entrepreneur, a mompreneur. I, I, I don't use, use the term mompreneur, but entrepreneur mama. And my target is stressed out network marketers and solopreneurs, right? So that's my target. Broadly speaking, I've got a much more narrow description of my gal that I'm talking to. And then I'm teaching them magnetic personal brand marketing. So I magnetic comes from my belief in the law of attraction and the idea that what we put out, we get back all the time, no exceptions and my brand background, right? I bring those two together, my wellness background, understanding mindsets in my background in marketing and bringing that together. And then that attraction marketing mindset. So if you're an online entrepreneur, you know, dealing with your own mindset, comparison, doubt, that is something we all need to continue to work on and strengthen. And so that's where I built that all. So that took, that took time, right? I wrote that down. I tightened it up. I cleaned it up. I added words. I took out words. I tweaked it. And if you go look at my Instagram bio, it will say a variation of this. And if you go look at my Facebook profile, it will say a variation of this, right? So this is my internal brand marketing statement, right? It's my brand statement. And, um, and then how that shows up on different social media feeds, it, it varies by platform. And we'll talk about those platforms on this podcast. So don't get stressed out about that. I want you to get this piece done first. So often we jump into, I need more content for, for social media or no one's commenting on my stuff. And then I go look at the stuff and it has no purpose. So this is your opportunity to create some purpose. Okay. So then I want you to create. So then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create the brand pillars. Oh, the brand pillars. I love these. So this again is like, let's just say you had games you were playing in the sandbox. These are your games. And then the content would be like the rules of the game. So I want you to think three to five brand pillars. Okay. No more than five, no less than three. Okay. And in these, within these pillars, will also be within there, your business, right? It'll be sitting somewhere in these pillars. So I'll show you where mine sits. Okay. I'll show you where my, uh, my social selling business, my social retail business sits. All right. So my five pillars, right? This is, this is my five pillars is one is priorities. Priorities is a pillar. Okay. And I believe this, you guys, I, I've said this to you before. Uh, I'm a busy mom with a lot of interests. I do this business because I love it. And I also very much want to have a life and be present for my friends and my family. So priorities around, so I have priorities is one mindset is number two. PS, you guys, you can totally steal my pillars. Okay. Permission to steal my pillars. <laughs> priorities is number one. Mindset is number two. Believe in growth mindset. I believe in personal development. I believe in the law of attraction. Um, lots of things in the mindset. I could go on to mindset for a while, which is a sign that it's a great pillar for me. And it's also a great pillar for my target, right? 
Number three is self-care, right? So really managing stress, the comparison mindset, my meditation and mindfulness practice, which I think is key in here, you guys, is my wellness business. It sits inside exercise, diet, sleep, daily habits. It's all sitting inside self-care. Okay. So my products are sitting inside self-care. Then I've got community. I really believe that authentic, great female friendships are the key to life and healthy boundaries and healthy relationships are the key to your overall happiness. So, um, that's all inside community. And then my fifth one is personal branding and magnetic mindset. Right. And so that's where all of a lot of this stuff falls into. Um, and really, you know, where I, I can geek out. So, but these are all topics that if you ask me about these topics, I light up my eyes, light up, and I will go off about these topics. Right. So these are my five pillars. And then in there are some other, I just like brainstorm other topics. Okay. I brainstorm other topics. Like what else could I, what kind of things could I talk about in here? And that becomes my pillars. So here's the thing you guys. So once you start to do this, this becomes the way you find and source and produce your content. Okay. And if it doesn't fall in here, you guys, it doesn't belong on your social media feeds. Okay. Maybe in your stories. So maybe you can say it in your stories. And, um, it's interesting because I personally, this is my personal opinion. I personally would never talk politics on social media. And, um, and I, now will I talk about issues that I feel strongly about when they're broad social justice issues. Yeah, I, I will, but it is the exception versus the rule. Uh, because I believe that it's a polarizing subject and I believe that people have a right to their own opinions. And I don't believe in shaming people on social media. (laughs) So I stay personally, I stay away from those topics. Right. And so if you saw, I think if someone saw me get really fired up about a highly charged political topic, that would be very incongruent for me on social media. Right. I think people will be like, what's going on now. It could be, it could create a lot of conversation, but I'm sure it would, uh, piss off as many people as it would please. And that's just not my intention. I want to help people I want to help people succeed and grow. And, um, and I don't want to be a part of any more negativity and drama on social media. So that's my personal belief system. Right. And so it would be super incongruent of me to go talk about that. Um, so, you know, and, and I see people post about things that are just super random and don't have anything to do with anything. And that's also incongruent. And so I want you to think about your social media feed, And your friends who follow you, they know you, right? They know you. What you're trying to do is grow and attract your community, right? And so start to look at your social media feed through the lens of if someone just found my page, someone just found my Facebook page, someone just found my Instagram feed, if someone just found my TikTok, whatever you're on, and they were like, oh, what is she about? So let me look at Tracy, what's she about? would they be able to tell, or would it be very confusing? And if it's confusing, that's when you want to start to make some adjustments. So that's your personal branding pillar assignment. I hope that's super useful. I'm so excited to see what you guys come back with. So what I want to ask you to do, if you, if you could go back and leave a review on podcasts, I would love that. I really appreciate it. And, um, And then I'd love for you to get in touch with me on social and let me know what you're coming up with. I really want to hear, yeah, leave a review. Let me know what you're coming up with. I, I think we'll learn a lot from each other on this journey. And, um, and even if you just do this and just say, okay, I'm going to create something and I'm going to play with it. I'm going to stay in my sandbox for the next 90 days. And then I guess the next question is 
how do you find content? <laughs> Let's make that the topic of next week. Okay. We'll talk about how to find content, how to, how to find good content. That's going to be my topic for next time. Okay, you guys, appreciate you so much. Have an amazing week. And I will talk to you next week on the Magnetic Marketing and Mindset Show. Take care, everybody. Bye.